wireframing. A wireframe is a representation of a product's design. It has three simple objectives. The first one is main groups of information. The second one is layout and or structure of information. And the third one is core visualization and descriptions of user interface interactions. So wireframes, if properly created, serve as the backbone of the product. It's just like an architectural blueprint of a house. It states plainly and clearly what should go where. Whether you are building the next hot startup or a solid website or a mobile application, wireframes are invaluable in keeping everyone on the same page. Why you should use wireframes? Wireframes are the blueprint for design, as I mentioned before. There is nothing better for gathering feedback early on than a solid wireframe. Why, you may ask, well, because people can focus more on function, how the app is going to work and how the layout is going to look like. Designers create wireframes because we save time for them. And how they save the time for them? Well, it's almost the same as with the sketches. You just can't go straight to the Photoshop and start designing high fidelity design without any bones. You have to have better understanding about your app's layout before you dive into high fidelity design. Do you need to have a drawing skills? Absolutely not. You don't need to be a kick-ass drawer or artist. The great thing about wireframing is that the quality can never be too low. If you think your artistic skills are poor, have no fear, you are in a good company. What are types of wireframes? Well, it's a low fidelity, mid fidelity and high fidelity. Each designer has their preferred method of creating wireframes. And some will go through all their all free because they move on to the real design. So let's take a look at them one by one. The first one is low fidelity wireframes. The main point of low fidelity wireframes are to get as many ideas down as possible and as quick as possible. Take a look at how low fidelity wireframes look like right here. You will notice that this type of wireframes has rough and sketchy design. They are done in minutes and they are very simple, very similar to sketches. Mid-fidelity wireframes. The mid-fidelity wireframe is the next logical step in the process. Once an idea has been formulated in the low fidelity stage, the designer may choose to further develop this idea by adding and refining certain details. You are likely to start seeing a bit more shape and something that more closely resembles an app. And the last one is high fidelity wireframes. At the high fidelity stage, you'll see something more akin to a finished website. The use of color will more likely the use of color will more than likely form a part of the upgraded wireframe, and you may also see real text and images. It's a near finished version of your website or app minus the fine details. Alright, so we talked about all the types of wireframes, what are wireframes and why we should use them and but uh, what tools we need to create wireframes. Well, in this course I'm going to use Balsamic, which is paid software and it costs $79, but you can try it out for a free trial. But also there are other free softwares to use, alternatives to Balsamic, such as Just in Mind which is absolutely free and it's quite good actually. I am using Balsam because with this tool it is very easy to create wireframes for an app. You just dragging and dropping elements and that's it. But if you want free tool just as just in mind, which is also very good and easy to use, you can do it. You are free to use. The main idea is the same, to create a wireframe. It's absolutely up to you guys. Now I'm going to show you how login screen of news reader app looks like. 
And I'm not going to create brand new lesson on how to use Balsamic or Overfly wireframe tools. It is very simple to use. You're just dragging elements and that's it. You can see how it's being used and I and how I created my newsreader login app screen in a screencast video. And as you can see, I'm just placing different elements on iPhone screen. No science have been found. I've created this login screen in like a 3 minutes or so.